everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how and when you might want to think about pulling back on posting on a particular social media channel. This topic I've been noodling it around ever since I saw a post on the Libraries and Social Media Facebook page. If you're not a member, I'll put the link down in the description of this video. But there was a library staffer who posted there recently and she was saying their library had just not seen much engagement on Twitter and they were thinking about pulling back on how much they post and there were some varying uh, opinions about whether that was a good idea. So I kind of just wanted to share mine with you. Um, first off, I think it is a good idea, especially if data is driving your decision making in this case. If you're looking at engagement and you're not getting, um, if people aren't interacting with your posts, this is probably a good idea. But here's the caveat. I don't want you to ever stop completely posting on any particular platform. And that is because algorithms are watching you all the time. And so is a certain subset of your uh, base. So there are people who will go to your Twitter account and look to see if you've posted recently. And if you haven't, that could have some negative connotations for that particular patron. Also, again, the algorithm is kind of always watching. So if you stop posting completely for a while, it's going to punish you in a way, penalize you when you start to post again for ignoring them for a certain amount of time. So instead, pull back and use your limited resources to experiment on that platform. So post less often, but do some different kinds of content, maybe even some things you hadn't done on that particular platform before and watch to see what happens. If you're still not getting engagement, you know that you're making the right decision. If you start getting engagement on a certain type of copies of content or just on your posts in general, two things might be happening. One is your audience likes that particular kind of content, so you should do more of it or the algorithm has changed and it might be time to reassess your decision to not post on that platform. So again, don't ever stop completely using it as an experimentation, but especially for small libraries with limited resources, I don't ever think it's a bad idea to look at the data and say, this platform isn't working for us. Let's use our energy in a place where it's more effective. What do you think? Do you agree? Um, is there something, is you have experience with this? Is there something that I missed? let me know. Just put a comment down below, or you can go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab. You can also go there to nominate a library for kudos. And kudos this week goes to the San Marcos Public Library. I will put a link in the description of the video. They did a reopening photo shoot recently where they posed like the breakfast club, and it was just cute and very, it, you know, just touched my Gen X heart and lots of library patrons. They got a lot of engagement on that post. A lot of people really loved that. So I just want to give them kudos for their creativity and you can see their awesome display of photos down by clicking on the link in the description. All right, that's it for this episode of the show. If you would please subscribe to my channel, share this video with friends in the library marketing world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.